Hello again Sapiens and welcome back to another how to video. In this content we are going to be downloading and side loading side quest onto our oculus quest 3 or 2. Wow that's a mouthful. Now first things first what you should already have done is make yourself a developer account under your meta account. If you've not done this it's very quick and simple I'll add the link in the video and also add the link in the description below. So moving on now that's done the first thing we want to do is open up our MetaQuest app. Then from here, what we're going to do is go into the menu, then devices, click on device, and then go to headset settings. From here, you just need to scroll down to developer mode, click on that and turn that on. All right, so developer mode is on. Now you need to go to SideQuest and download it. So what you're going to do is open up your browser on your PC or laptop type in sidequestvr.com and you're going to click on get sidequest now it's really up to you what you want to install here they have an easy installer and they have an advanced installer but I suggest to go with the advanced installer as it's got more features to it so you're going to click download and then go ahead and install that on your PC or laptop I've already got this installed and I've got my sidequest here so I'm going to go ahead and open up sidequest now on my PC and as you guys can see, I've already got pretty much everything set up. But on SideQuest, we still have this yellow area. So we're going to open up the setup instructions. And as you guys can see, we have to create an organization, which we've already done in my first video. We have also just turned on developer mode through the mobile app. And now we just need to connect. And in order to do this, you're going to need to connect to USB and allow debugging. So the thing now to do is we want to have our Oculus on. And then you're going to plug in a USB-C wire from your computer to your Oculus. And then from here, you guys are going to see this allow debugging on the headset. And you're just going to hit allow. Then allow connection device to access files. And from there, we should be good on our Quest side. So now we need to go back to our PC. Everything is set up as you guys can see here. So we're good to go. We can go back home and now we can sideload any one of these games that we've got and also set up our Oculus for better recording options. All right, Sapiens, so now everything is set up the way it's supposed to be. And there's a few tricks that we can do to make things a little bit easier and a whole lot better. Now, if you want to browse SideQuest on your headset, we can easily do that. Be sure that you're still hooked up through the Type-C cable from your PC to Quest. All you have to do here is on SideQuest, type in SideQuest. And the first thing that should pop up is SideQuest VR. So we're going to click on this and you're going to sideload that into the Quest. So let's just go ahead, click on it, and as you can see, it's installing. Now it's been installed, head over to your Quest headset. And now here we are in our virtual environment. And now we're going to check out SideQuest itself. So in order to do that, we're going to go to the app section. And then from here in the app library, you're going to click on all, go down to unknown sources, and there we've got SideQuest and that's going to launch, you guessed it, SideQuest. But before we have access, there's just one more final step. As you can see, you do need to go to this site and put in your own code. So I'm going to do that real quick and we'll be right back. Now that we've linked that up, we can click on allow and now this is all of SideQuest. The exact same thing that you would do on your PC, you can now check out the games here on the Quest itself and sideload from here. Now, over here, as you can see, you've got games, you've got your library, your custom homes, and all of these games you can install through the side quest while you're using your headset. So it's a pretty easier way to do things. That's it, guys. Once again, let me know in the comments if this was helpful. And remember, for more content on how-tos, gameplay, upcomings, be sure to hit that bell icon so you don't miss out. As I said on my last video, I am a brand new channel, and your support means a lot to me. I've been VR Sapien, thanks again for watching.